welcome everybody to my channel this is Fadi and uh, this is what we will uh, see today and see how we will operate it see the smoke is revealing X explosion like a tunnel explosion and it's going toward the camera and here it start to dissipate it's just dissect so it start to explode in this window then this window and this window and then this window boom the glass will shatter also the roof will fall down we'll see how and see the lighting this is illuminated by the explosion the pyro itself and toward the camera the camera melted <laughs> and then it dissipates and start to repeat see this is the smoke and this is another look from outside here's explosion second explosion third and fourth and it's still it's rendering a couple of more camera view I will upload it later when it finish and in a separate video so this bit disappear so if you can see here the smoke is going down this is the effect of the collision uh, the velocity of the collision the falling uh, ceiling that advict the smoke to go down and it rises up this is the interior scene from inside as you can see okay so let's see how the file was created start from the top these are the camera angles I have this camera side the door opening from the roof so we can see the explosion in the roof this is in from the inside this is a cool angle it's uh, the opening this is camera 6 the side so we can see each window and uh, 45 degree and this is the camera also so anyway <coughs> distance light is also the lights I placed here let's just do this one Illumination borders. I, I will keep it simple. Let's go to that camera. So if, if I turn them off, dark, they give illumination and I make it a little bit colder. Okay, but I'll just make it normal. For the display. Now here, type of camera. This is the materials. I use mantra. No, I didn't use mantra. I use karma. And this is the file. <coughs> so I'll walk you through the files. This is the JO. I transform it, make it bigger size to fit, match size, and I put it precisely on the origin. Then I start to split. These are the lights. I put them alone here. So I didn't want to sim the lights and the cables. It's already complicated. Not that much, but uh, complicated. Then I split the windows, which I wanted to shatter. So I make an active attribute, so they are included in the simulation. <coughs> and here, this is the block, the wall of the for the window, and I make them inactive, zero. So the active attribute is zero. So they are in the simulation, but they are affecting the active part, but they don't seem. I shatter it so the glass are shattered 
and I submit at the same time the, 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 the particle the glass will interact with the ceiling and the walls okay in this simulation so this is the first one I disable it just so I can view so this is how it looks all the glass are shattering nicely so from the camera angle this one it's like a, so this is the angle that is shattering from this side okay after that let's go to the second one so this is mainly for the window on the wall and from here the remaining of the building that's this one this big chunk of metal so as you can see here this metal part the roof the walls and the floor and this debris so I start to separate them with a the split node I got the building first I put it in a separated group and I took from it the, this metal object as you can see now this metal object it went through a group I call it sidebar and I created an active attribute of one and I fracture it and pack it I'll just show it to you everything here while it uh, blew and uh, and uh, here as you can see this is the roof it consists of the ceiling which I give it a volume and uh, I fracture it well it's just a thin layer also here I split the bars and I fracture them these are the bars and finally the remaining of the building and I made it passive I don't fracture so I give it an attribute of zero for the active and all are merged here so I have all this is active then I went and uh, I all back it up so it's packed and uh, I created a couple of constraint so here so here the whole sim so the first uh, constraint rule I created between the side this side bar and the wall passive so between where is it between the side bar and the wall there's a connection and I give it the glue constraint okay 15,000 because I, did it, I don't want it to move because the lights are here then a second constraint that's between the ceiling and the long bar so as you can see here maybe I can give it a color bright color so this is the second constraint as you can see then I went and the uh, constraint between the long bar and the side bar so let's give it a uh, different color green so as you can see there's a constraint and I make it run through the simulation and after that I save it so let's see how it look I'll take this angle first I will run the flip book I'll come back before I run it just I want to mention that I time shift it but then I retime it and make it a little bit faster twice and I computed the bond velocity okay so let's let's see the flip book 
for 500 I'll put ok start so if I run uh, the flipbook because I make it faster wait for it down I'll show you how it's falling down like this another one and this is uh, from the inside camera so it's falling down but not the camera because I kept it here uh, inactive see okay so let me stop this one and this one I'll come back to here because here what I did I I have this sphere that I modify it and make it animate like this and I use the this guideline to go through it after that no, after that what did I do yeah here so the read time went to the uh, render also I took the velocity and I created VDB from Polygon because what I saw here in the collision source see there is a velocity but where I will create the velocity here so what I did I went to the VDB I named it the same name collision distance VDB and uh, give it fair uh, big pixel size because I don't want that accuracy and here I, uh, I added an attribute and in the attribute I choose point VDB displacement velocity so here I have two VDB, one collision scalar and one vector VDB that will be added. I will show you in the bio solver. I give it thickness, fair big amount of thickness because I don't want accuracy, I just want the volume. Okay, and previously I cache it, and this one, this node, it went to the bio simulation. So this is that part the long bar, the wall passive and here the remaining papers I wanted to simulate them as a particle but I didn't do that so they ended up as a static now in the pyro solver that is uh, here what I did I start with a line so let me put the windows is on the window so I started with the line let's put some points I choose four points because I have one two three four windows I edit them change their uh, position and then transform it to the barely at the edge of the window attribute triangle I used here this is the new shortcut I learned you press control and the plus will make it big minus will make it small so big so here uh, the start frame that will be used to ignite the source is equal to the pt num multiplied by 20 so if you look here there will be one at 0 20 40 and 60 and you can play with it okay then I randomly adjusted the spreading angle not that much also randomly adjusted the B scale so the volume will change per point I adjusted the trailing something and the normal also adjusted and the lifespan and the expansion out scale all randomly adjusted and how I did it quickly if you go to the bio solver sorry to the bio source itself see this uh, nerd I forget what we called it yeah you just press and it will create for you all of this okay nothing fancy here uh, but let me show you the, the, the explosion one two three four one two three four each one which with, with, with its own shape so let's go back again see this one different than this then I went to the fireball here 
the fire pole or the pyro solver this is the scale I went with maximum step of two only bounding is the ground and uh, this is the size sourcing I'm sourcing the density temperature and burn because I need explosion then the collision what I uh, initially it will be collision geometry I may change it to SDF volume velocity and I increase the scale the multiplier of 5 and I name it V not V V the same when I name it here if I name it something else I will use the same name ok then these are the field density dissipation of 0.09 and uh, I played also with the buoyancy, make it a little bit large. Some wind on the minus Z, so they will move like this. And after that, I went to the viral look, the smoke, I make it 30, and I make it as a gradient, so I have two color. Scattering make it 800, and fire 850. And the binding, I change the source to flame, and the intensity to flame for the color of flame and I cache it see this is how they interact and the right and I merge it all here so this is camera one camera two camera three camera four five six the initial camera here and then here in karma I use the uh, low setting the sampling of two, the sampling of between one and two, and the limit I went down also because I want a quick render, and I use Intel uh, denoiser, and this one as you can see, I use camera two, camera three, camera four, five, six, and seven, and all I use merge node, and in the merge node control, you can do it frame by frame. I use node by node, so it will cancel. It will do this one finish all the frame range then jump to this one, finish all the frame and next you can do it frame by frame but because it's heavy sim it will crash so this is what I went with so thank you very much for watching hopefully you benefit from this and please leave any comment thank you